watched my channel for long, you know I love steel. Um, there's just something about hearing that ring and getting that instant gratification when it rings. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. You can also see where your rounds are going on the steel. And it, no matter what distance you're shooting, uh, you know, even at, uh, up to a thousand yards, uh, it really is a cool way to be able to shoot. Now, a lot of guys feel like that, you know, setting up a steel range can be very expensive, and it can be if you add a lot of targets. But what's really cool is you can just order one target, one stand, and, you know, for a very reasonable price. And then you can shoot, and honestly, guys, that's what I did for a long time. I had one steel target I would shoot, and then started to add it as I could. Now, obviously, these say shootsteel.com on here, and shootsteel.com sent this uh, for me to add to my range, and I really appreciate it because, you know, it gives me a lot more options. Uh, one of the great things about having multiple targets is that you can go from target to target, and it really helps when you're training and it helps for you to really find that sight on the move, which makes it really nice. And again, you get that instant report. Uh, whether you go with the man size type or you go even with the round type. And there are a lot of different uh, configurations that they have on shootsteel.com. The assembly process is really easy. Here we've got one already fully assembled and uh, we're just gonna show you how to do it. Stand comes with a place to put your two by four. Uh, one end is shorter and then of course in the back it's longer. Uh, when it gets hit. Uh, one thing you'll also notice is that the screws to tighten up your wood are in the back to keep from spalling damaging that. So just cut your two by four. I cut it to about just right about four feet right here. Just tighten these down into the wood. Real simple and that makes it easy when you need to replace your wood after time because this the spalling will start to affect the wood. Each of the legs has a small hole right here. You could actually put a tent stake or some kind of stake down here to hold it if you need to. Before you mount the cap, go ahead and run your bolt through and get your spring on. Slide it in. Take your bolt. Uh, this is three quarter inch. And you're really supposed to compress it about a half inch using a three quarter drive. And I use the long one. You can go ahead and mount it onto the wood. Just tighten it down. Very simple. And then the spring activates and allows for that really rich steel sound. Now we're going to try rifle calibers with the targets just to see how they do. Uh, we're going to shoot a 5.56 in a Tavor. Then we're going to shoot out of a, a, a Vepper 7.62 by 5.4. And I'll also be shooting it with an AK, it's an RH10 Romanian and 7.62 by 3.9. Now you can see where the rifle rounds have been hitting and uh, leaving just a little bit of residue, but not bad. I uh, was shooting it with the 7.62 by 5.4 and it was really giving it a good wallop. Uh, this is only at 50 yards, so you know it's according to where you're going to hit, but I think that this is um, it's going to withstand a lot. I've shot a lot of AR-500, so um, and it can part pock a little bit, but you can shoot thousands of rounds in these and just keep on going. Here you can see where the 7.62 by 5.4 hit pretty solidly. That was um, I think I did shoot some of these at 50. I was shooting them at 100 at first, and then I moved to 50. But uh, this stuff can take it. Now there are a lot of cool unique designs on the website. This is one that's very portable. It has the stand and you can take this apart into three pieces, lay it flat. Plus it has this really deep angle, which makes it really nice. Now you can, there are cuts for you to set this up straight up. I really like this when I'm going out to the range because a lot of times you're hauling steel and transporting it around. Uh, it'll lay flat and uh, I really love this deep angle right here. Uh, but again, you know, there's just a lot of different cool designs. This is just one that I really like. 
Now these packages are pretty reasonable. Of the 12 inch, 3 8 inch steel AR500 with the target stand, I think these are 139. It's a great price to start out. And then with the 3 8 inch uh, regular silhouette type target, these run 177 and that includes the stand, does not include the wood. So great prices. Uh, shootsteel.com. Also, I want to thank my good friend Rodney at NC Hill uh, YouTube channel for helping me out and uh, always we have a lot of fun at the range. <laughs> so shootsteel.com, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. <laughs> He's been watching too many of my videos. I've heard that once or twice. <laughs>